Good evening and thank you for joining us. Well, we can see you there in the headline, Carly, at uh, spring has sprung definitely got to play football. They're not quite outside yet. No, though. but they were though. That's really? the good thing. They have to obviously train inside, but uh, there was some turf they were able to hit this past weekend and uh, they will be back outdoors in the very near future. Of course, playing their games in Edmonton, but still a very encouraging sign of good things to come. Right, Gerard? Don't good down. things, yeah, right, Gerard? <laughs> it's been good all day and it's looking like it's going to mm -hmm. be good all night. I I've been following a story actually about the planets uh, being able to see Saturn in particular. Now, actually, a, a handful of the planets we've been actually been able to see them since about March 22nd and it's looking like it's going to be a good night for viewing not too much cloud cover which is always very important yeah and it's been a brilliantly sunny day let's see what we're dealing with right about now everyone plus four and we've actually gotten there since about four o'clock this afternoon uh, the humidity at 66 percent the winds out of the west at 17 kilometers an hour and as we look to what is happening the comparative picture the lakelands well the lakeland region you've got uh, some more cloud cover there at plus seven plus four in the battlefords but they have enjoyed the better part of the sunshine so far for today what that means in terms of later on jacob we're going to chat about it some more meantime back to you. Kids County RCMP were called to a crash on the corner of Highway 16 and 897 this afternoon. The two vehicle collision happened around noon. EMS and fire officials also attended the scene. Upon arrival, uh, members found two vehicles uh, in the ditch. Five occupants were transported to, the hosp to hospital for uh, treatment of injuries and the uh, cause of the collision is still under investigation. Both vehicles were severely damaged. The extent of the injuries is not known at this time. RCMP hope to release more information about the crash tomorrow. Canada's largest grain handler announced that major changes are in store for a couple of our region's grain elevators. Viterra plans on increasing the storage capacity of the Lloydminster and the North Battleford facilities. These uh, upgrades illustrate our Viterra's commitment to Saskatchewan agriculture and our confidence in the future of the grain production in the Lloydminster area. The Lloydminster facility will see an increase of 12,000 tons, putting total capacity at 27,000. North Battleford's expansion will allow for 8,000 more tons of storage, resulting in a mass capacity of just under 34,000. Well, by investing in these storage and logistical improvements, we're able to accept and move, move higher volumes of grain resulting in faster unload times and cost savings for farmers. Lloydminster facility is also doubling their loading capacity to accommodate up to 112 rail cars. Construction is set to begin sometime this spring and should be completed by this fall. St. Paul Animal Shelter is overcrowded and the Board of Directors has approached the town and the county requesting land for a new facility. The current shelter is not only too small, it also needs to be upgraded. Shelter officials say getting the building isn't the issue, it's finding the land to build on. We need serviced land. And they're going to try and see, the town and the county are working together to try and see if they can get us a, an area of land that it wouldn't hurt anybody yet still be part of everything. The shelter has received cats and dogs from as far away as Lac La Biche, And over the last four months, officials estimate they've turned away nearly 60 animals. We've had some room for some, some dogs. But as you can see, our cats are pretty full and uh, it's hard. We're, we keep trying to find room for the cats and we're running out. The board is still waiting for a response from the town and the county. High school students at Holy Rosary are getting hands-on experience at career possibilities with a new program. Still in its pilot stage, Step Ahead allows students to observe or practice their craft of interest with industry people in a professional setting. Kathy Lee has the details. It's not a traditional classroom setting, but these students are getting a lesson on Hair 101. It's good to get out into the actual environment rather than just being in a school, learning it from a book. You're actually doing it, and you're in the environment, like the actual studio. Instead of someone just telling you to do it, she actually shows you, and then you get to go do it, and then she'll come around and help you if you struggle with it and stuff. Part of the career program at Holy Rosary, Step Ahead gives students the opportunity to experience one before they graduate. It doesn't get any more real than that. They quickly find out what they like and quickly find out what they don't like. So again, you're, you're choosing a career on the basis of having a, part, a bit of an experience and some concrete knowledge about this is what this job looks like. It gives us an opportunity to, to deal with the true professionals in our community and also to expose our, our students to, to some possibilities down the road for them. 
about getting it nice and clean and worry about hiding the bobby pins later. Students have been partnered with nurses, doctors, <laughs> business owners, and now with Kenneth Blair Boutique. I've been into cosmetology departments where they have the lab, and I think that's great. Um, but I don't think lots of times they take it quite as quite as seriously, or they they have a different view on it because it's still in the school, and it's you know it's like another classroom. Where this is a business. The experience is intended to help them make informed career choices after high school. I think it'll just help me decide because I actually get to experience it instead of just. Okay, maybe I want to be a hairdresser or maybe I want to do something with Cosmo, but now I actually get to see it. Maybe I won't even like it at all and I'll just want to do something like a doctor or something else. <laughs> right now, the students are coming to Kenneth Blair's studio once a week for an hour. However, come fall, the school will implement a full cosmetology program where the students will be able to acquire credits for graduation and bank their hours towards an Alberta hairstyling apprenticeship program. Kathy Lee, New Cap News. Well, they were just floor hockey games, but money was raised to help fund projects organized through Lakeland College's Environment Club. That story and more coming up after the break.